Welcome to Dream Framer Photography, guys. Today I'm going to show you the best tool to add keywords to stock photos. Adding keywords or tagging images is one of the most important steps in stock photography. If you want your pictures to be found, you have to find the right keywords to add to those pictures. In the beginning, I was adding keywords to my images manually, and then I started experimenting with different tools. But the best tool I've ever used is called Xpix. Xpix is a small software that you can download from the internet and it's completely free. Although you can donate money to the creator and it would be nice if you do so because the guys did a great job. However, I received quite a few emails from people who want to use this software but they don't know how to install it. And I decided to create this video to show you how to do it. If you want to see the software in action, I'm going to link a couple of my videos down there in the description of this video. Open your web browser and type this address www.rarlab.com slash download.htm Here you have few versions of WinRAR software which is needed to unpack Xpix archive. These first versions are beta versions which means unstable versions. As you can see here it all says beta versions. The title says the same as well as this one. So you need to scroll down and find stable versions of WinRAR software. You can choose any stable version from here that is compatible with your system or just find the localized version for the language you speak. I'm going to use English 64-bit Windows version. I'm clicking here and Windows is asking me where to save the software. I'm going to choose desktop for this tutorial. The program is already downloaded. Now open a new tab and type this address https column slash slash ribtox.github.io slash xpix slash download slash. On this page you have few versions of xpix. Find the one compatible with your system. The software is completely free but you can donate money to the creator and it will be awesome if you do that because these guys made this software, it's an awesome software, I never used a better software for keywording, so it would be nice to tip them for coffee or something. I'm going to download Archive for Windows 64-bit. My computer is asking me where to save the archive and I'm choosing desktop for this tutorial. Now let's wait for the archive to be downloaded. Okay, now I can close my browser and you see that we have two things that we just downloaded. The first thing you want to do is install WinRAR Archiver. Double click on it, click install, leave all this as offered by default and just click OK at the bottom. The dialog says thank you for using WinRAR and we can click done. Now we can pull out this shortcut from this window and leave it on the desktop because you might use this program for some other archives. WinRAR is very useful and it's free so it's nice to have it installed. You might notice now that the icon for Xpix archive changed. And that's because WinRAR knows that this is an archive, so it immediately placed the same kind of icon over it. So now, what you need to do is double click on this archive, close this dialog that says that you can buy WinRAR if you want to, and just grab this Xpix folder inside of the archive and pull it out on the desktop. The archive is unpacking and the archive is going to become a folder. Let's put this folder here next to WinRAR icon. Now when you're done you can basically delete this if you want to because you don't need this archive anymore. 
double click on the folder and one of the last files in the archive is xpix-qt.exe. This is the file that you have to double click to open xpix. So now we started the software and you can go through this short tutorial. But you saw me using this already. If you haven't, then go to my channel. I have a few videos on it. If you want, you can also pull out the shortcut for this program to the desktop. Right click on it and go to send to desktop, create shortcut. Now we can close this window and start XPix from here. Just double click on the shortcut and here we go. Don't delete this folder because the shortcut is actually pulling the software from this folder. You can move it around on the desktop, but don't delete it. Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. And if you did press that like button or leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, especially if you want to sell photos online and see you in the next video. Bye.